Hello, my friends. Uh, it's been a very, very long time since I've put anything out, um, and that is because very, very intensely the Lord has been teaching me things, and I walk amongst Him as though He stands right beside me. Even though it is the Spirit and not His body, I know it is Him, and by this Spirit I have learned much, and I have still kept in contact um, with those who the Lord has given me to keep in contact over the period of this time. But for a general, somebody that he sends to listen to me now, it's for a different purpose. And I understand this, and I understand whenever I need to announce something and when I don't. As before, I, I wasn't able to understand that quite as well. But last night, uh, I saw the destruction of America other than the East Coast of America, which has to remain according to the scriptures. But I was shown the specific destruction of the country. And I feel as myself living in America, that it is something that the Lord would desire that I share, or else he would have never put it in my spirit to share. As today I do have it in the spirit to deliver the message, even though it's been so very long. And what I can say of everything is, there is nothing as important as walking with God in this time period. There is no one else who can teach you. There is no one else who can guide you. There is no religion. There is no church. There is nothing. There is no servant that knows more than the master. And let me tell you that the Master has poured His Spirit over the earth. And if you follow anyone other than the Master, understand that you're following someone lesser than the one who is greater. And this is what I say to everyone who follows denominations or churches or temples or this or that. All of these things are of man. And all of these things played their part. Whenever Jesus spoke to the Pharisees, he said, How can you tell that when you see the sky and it's red, you know it's going to storm? But how can you tell this and not know that I, he, the Messiah, stand directly in front of you right now and you do not recognize me? Why did Jesus say this to the people of the temples, the churches, the religions? He says this because instead of following him, the actual living God, the Messiah, They'd rather look back into the comfort of the world, of the things they've known, and follow that, the lesser. My friends, the Holy Spirit is poured out over anyone who will listen to it. Even someone such as me, the worst of all, I have understood the Holy Spirit because I believed it. And I didn't, I didn't take anybody else's answers for what God was giving me, I took His, because He is greater than anyone else. I did not allow myself to be deceived, even though I was, to some extent. I never allowed myself to, com to be completely handed over to that, because in the end, even if I wanted to declare that I believed something, in my heart, I believed God over it. And these are the things that God looks at. It has nothing to do with what your body does. Your body... It is a temple and a representation of the inner mind. Your conscience is of God. Your mind is of God. What your body does is all about intentions. And if your body does things that are good with bad intentions, it's worth nothing. If your body does things that are good with good intentions, it's worth everything. But as I will continue on... In a dream last night, I was given what I truly believe was the destruction of America. And I was given things in this dream that I didn't even know about. I didn't know the specific geography. I've never been interested in it. Um, and then as I started researching what I saw in my dream, and I looked at the word, and I looked at the geography, I understood what God was showing me exactly. And he showed me what happens after Revelation 12, after 2021, after a time, times and half a time after the sign of 2017, he shows me what happens. 
And this is what happens. According to the dream that I received, which I know was sent to me by the Spirit. So in my dream, I was in some kind of a camping area. And this was a very, very large camping area. And as I was in this area, there was an announcement that came over the radio and some kind of warning. And I've had several dreams of either a television warning or a radio warning before in the past, but nothing quite like this. And this, this announcement spoke of a great tsunami and landslide. That was the terms that it used that was coming into the area. In this tsunami, it began in the west, and it headed towards the east. Now, what happened is I was able to see a large picture of this campground. In other words, I, I sat as though I was seeing a hologram. I looked straight out ahead of me, and I saw what I recognized as the entire North American continent. I saw it as exactly the United States is on a map. And it was like I was looking at a holograph. And I saw this up over top of the mountains as I, in other words, I was standing on top of the mountain and I looked down over the mountain and I saw this huge landmass that looked exactly like the geography of the United States. And what I saw when I looked over this landmass was waters rising and it covered the whole land and it went from west to east and from north to south. These waters, in other words, went from the tip of California all the way down into Florida. And it went on that kind of a diagonal path where the top was to the left of the bottom of the waters. And they were destroying everything along this land. And it was on a path like it was a rolling tsunami coming from the tip of California all the way down to Florida. And it was taking all the, 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 the debris and it was rolling it as though it was some kind of a freight train in motion. And this was water, this was land, this was trees, this was everything over the entire United States. All rolling along this northwest to southeast path, devouring everything over the land as it came toward my location. Now, in my dream, my location was, according to the map that I could see, would have been in Florida. And this flowing debris, this rushing water, it covered the entire United States from that northern California, covered the entire map until about Ohio. And when it hit Ohio, the water slanted and it stopped flowing east. So, in other words, it hit where the Appalachian Mountains began, and then it started flowing on a diagonal path as it reached the bottom. So it went from mid-Ohio, Pennsylvania, to the, the Virginias, the Carolinas. None of those states were affected. But you get down into Georgia and Florida, and that was the tip of this water. And it was all headed directly down into this Florida panhandle. So, Florida, in other words, was the direct path south after it avoided those East Coast states. In other words, the entire landmass of America was covered in water, and it was all exiting out of Florida. And now, as I saw this, I headed directly for Florida in my dream, and my parents showed up in some kind of a car that they fled on, on some kind of old road, and they headed uphill, and they told me to follow them. And as I went and followed them up this hill, we arrived inside of some old wooden, wooden buildings. They were very high up on top of a mountain. And I entered inside of one of these buildings, and I went through many rooms in these buildings, and I went up many stairways. And I came to the end where everyone was sitting inside of a house. And someone looked at me, and they spoke to me. And I'm going to tell you what I can give you of what they spoke to me in quotations, because this is the best that I can remember it. They said, I'm going to send you into the water so that you see it. You will be a part of this to observe it, but I am going to show you what will happen to many as I will put you into it so that you feel it. Something along those lines. It's exactly what was said to me by this person I did not recognize. 
and I was told to touch the window of this wooden house that I was in. And as I touched that, I would go into this flood after I touched the window. So I did. I touched it. And I was put back into Florida at the very southern tip of Florida. And I looked up and I saw a wall two, three, four hundred feet high of a wave of water with all kinds of debris moving directly towards me at a very high rate of speed. And right before it hit me, this group of people that I was standing beside, I said to them all, brace, here it comes. And I looked at them and I told them, get as high up on the mountain as you can and wait until it passes. That's exactly what I told them. And as the water hit, I was with this group of people, uh, very high up on top of some kind of mountain. And though this water hit us, we were able to get back onto our feet, and we headed back up towards the top of the mountain that we fell down from. We were not killed, even though everything else around us was demolished. And then after these waters subsided, we looked out into the land, and again, I'm looking at a, at a holographic image of America. And the whole land basically appeared as an ocean, other than a small strip that was the former east coast of America. The only states that still existed were from Maine up to the, the northern part, um, to Ohio, that's as far west as it went, about mid-Ohio, and then down through the Carolinas. Everything else completely gone. And then I was suddenly taken into some underground tunnel where we were all wearing construction vests, and we were pushing heavy cables attached to heavy rollers, and we were attempting to repair something in the land or this bridge or this tunnel or whatever it was. But we were all chained up like we were slaves, and we were following the instructions of someone who was like a foreman, some kind of head worker, and he was pushing us to keep working. That was the end of that dream. And as I woke up in the morning, I, I began to do the research of what I had seen. And I took a look first off at the geography map. Because I'm not no student of geography. I don't even really know Pennsylvania. I don't, I don't, I don't know the land masses even around me, let alone the entire country. But everything I saw that I, I saw in my dream was exactly laid out like this map is on the screen right now. And if you look to the right of the map, you see the Appalachian Mountains chain. That was the exact, exact direct path where this water did not penetrate. In other words, this flood was stopped by the Appalachian Mountain chain as it destroyed everything west of that. And all of it was funneled down into where you see Miami on this map on my screen. All of the water that destroyed the whole United States was funneled into Florida and back out into the Atlantic Ocean. It's exactly what it looked like in my dream. And I show you just on a close-up on this screen of where the Appalachian Mountains lie and how everything that I had seen lined up exactly with this map. And I go to Revelation 12. When the dragon saw that he had been hurled to the earth, he pursued the woman who had given birth to the male child. The woman was given the wings of two great eagles so that she might fly to the place prepared for her in the wilderness, where she would be taken care of for a time, times, and half a time, out of the serpent's reach. Then from his mouth the serpent spewed water like a river to overtake the woman and sweep her away with the torrent. But the earth helped the woman by opening its mouth and swallowing the river that the dragon had spewed out of his mouth. Then the dragon was enraged at the woman and went off to wage war against the rest of her offspring, those who keep God's commands and hold fast to their testimony about Jesus. Exactly as Revelation 12 speaks was my dream. For I was not there. I was already descended, ascended from the earth. I was up in the mountains. I was with my family, which would be children of God, which is what I am, which is probably what anybody listening to me is. We are not here for this event. As the removal of the woman into the wilderness happens, we're not here for this. 
but it's simultaneous in a sense. As soon as the woman is removed, the dragon spews this water out of his mouth. We know that the United States is the great beast of the earth. In Washington, D.C. is where he will set up the one world government. New York City, Washington, D.C., all of this. And notice all of that was not destroyed according to my dream. It was all still there. And it has to be there because Revelation chapter 17, New York City has to exist in order to be destroyed in one hour later on. It has to exist. Was not affected by my dream. Everything stopped to leave the East Coast intact on the United States, which is exactly what the serpent does. He spews his water to overtake the woman, which is called the United States, because she is indeed where God's people are. I am in East Coast Pennsylvania, born and raised in Central Pennsylvania. God's people are all in this country. We are the land of Christ. It's not Jerusalem. It's not Israel. That's the land of something former. It ain't no more. Christ's people are all over the world, and the nation that built their land upon his name was the United States of America. We are his. This is exactly why you see in Revelation chapter 17, the only place in the entire scriptures where God calls his people out of and calls them his people is in the United States. We are that land. The only one built upon freedom. That all of that has been taken away now. If you watch any of the news at all, you'll see all the freedom that we've ever had has been taken from us. Because the woman is trampled underfoot for a period of time. Which is exactly what is happening now. Now notice that as the dragon spews this water, he's trying to sweep away the entire America. He's trying to sweep the whole thing away. But the earth helped the woman by opening its mouth and swallowing that water that the dragon had spewed out of it. What does Florida look like? Florida is where everything in my dream was cycled down to and taken out into the Atlantic Ocean. Florida is just like the mouth that opens up that John had seen in Revelation that expels all the water that destroyed all of the land west of the Appalachians. Florida is that mouth. This is how America is going to come to its destruction. It comes in two parts. The first is very sudden, where it overtakes California and everywhere else. Very, very sudden. Nobody sees it happen. It's already come and it's already too late. Nobody can react to it. Everybody is taken by this flood. Other than people living on the East Coast, everybody's taken. And they have no chance to stop it. Out of Florida is where the water is removed. And then everybody in the world panics. Exactly as scripture is written. you got a period of peace. And then you have a period where the Antichrist sets up the third temple. Which will happen. All of these things line up. It all happens exactly as it's written. And we're looking for this event. This event, I believe God showed me an exact picture of what happens. As he even explained to me through someone that I will witness it right now. And I witness it and I share it as I witness it, exactly as I saw it. What happens when it happens has to come after 2021. But it has to happen imminently as everything happens all at the same time. So... What I say to you, friends, if you see this, if you see this is happening, it doesn't matter what anything you've ever heard of, if you see this event happen, you get down on your knees and you call out to the Lord. doesn't matter where you are in the country. doesn't matter where you are in the world. It doesn't matter where you are, period. You get down on your knees and you call out to the Lord when you see this happen. And I will see you in paradise. Perhaps this is why I am to share this. Because though you won't believe me, though you won't believe any of this, 
when you see it happen, then you will believe. And if you believe when you see it happen, then it's not too late. God bless.